Molecular docking using scripts autodoc 4.2.6 Part 9 Analyzing and interpreting the output To analyze the molecular docking results and the scoring function, you can go into the ligand folder and look for the DLG file, the log file of the docking procedure. You can open the DLG file with any text editor like Notepad, WordPad, or Microsoft Word. Once the DLG file is open, you can press Ctrl and F on your keyboard. Here, you can look for histogram. Within the histogram, you can find the lowest binding energy values in kilocalorie per mole organized ascendingly. Beside that, you can find the run number or the confirmation number. Here, run number 8 has a lowest binding energy of minus 11.17 kilocalorie per mole. Now, we can look for more details within run number 8. Press Ctrl and F again and search for run number 8. Here it states that this is run number 8 out of 10. Under this, you can find the lowest binding energy minus 11.17 kilocalorie per mole you can find the inhibition constant ki 6.47 nanomolar you also can find other details about the energy you also can look for the root mean square deviation value by pressing ctrl and f again here you can type r m s d table Within this RMSD table, you can find the run number 8, the binding energy again, and this is the RMSD value. After this, to visualize confirmation number 8, you can open Autodoc tools. Go to Analyze, Dockings, Open. Go for the folder and open the DLG file. Then, add the protein by going to Analyze, Macromolecule, Open, and select the PDBQT file of the protein. Go to Analyze again, Confirmations, Play. Here, you can put the confirmation number. Our best confirmation is confirmation number 8, so we can write 8. Press on this AND symbol, Write Complex. Go to the same folder and save the complex as a PDBQT file. I will save it as run 8. After saving the PDBQT file of the confirmation, you can open it using Discovery Studio. Go to Scripts, Ligand Interactions, Show Ligand Binding Site Atoms. This will show you the surrounding amino acids those have interacted with your small molecule. To label these amino acids, go to Structure, Labels, Add, choose Amino Acid, OK. To visualize the 2D diagram of these interactions, go to Show 2D Diagram. This is your diagram. You can see here that you have two conventional hydrogen bonds. You have pi cation and pi anion interactions. The rest are pi bonds and carbon hydrogen bonds. You can show the distance of each bond by right click on the white space. Go to display style. Interactions. Show distance. It will show you the distance of the interaction in angstrom. This energy of minus 11 and these interactions are for the control molecule. Indinaver has also formed two conventional hydrogen bonds and one pi cation bond. The rest are pi bonds and van der Waals and carbon hydrogen bonds. To compare between the two complexes, you have to report and compare the lowest binding energy, the number of interactions, and the surrounding amino acids.